Today we're going to take a look at making a very simple rain catchment system. Um, and there's a lot of different type systems out there, but this is one of the most simple. Just take your 55 gallon barrel and we're going to set it up and I'm going to show you how to do it. Of course, having gutters is part of the process. Uh, when we had our gutters put in, I had them cut them to a certain height just so we could work with it in that configuration. But you can adapt your gutter system and your downspouts. Uh, we are using a 55 gallon drum and this is water safe and you need to make sure that it is. Um, this one actually came from the Barrel Superstore. It's actually here in town in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, but you can order parts and things from the Barrel Superstore. So I have a link down below in the description. I'm not affiliated. I went and bought all this stuff. There are a few tricks to it, but honestly, it's really simple. Uh, there are some more complicated systems. I put them in myself uh, over at our previous house. And, you know, it works great, but this is, again, very simple and easy to do. Guys, you can only live three days without water in the rule of threes. And so having some kind of water source is vital. Uh, you could have just a uh, contamination with your water source, municipal or city water, um, and really have to depend on something else. And creek water has a lot of different contaminants in it, and so you don't want to drink water straight out. In fact, even this uh, rainwater, you want to make sure you treat it before you drink it. Personally, we have one of the big Berkeys. I highly recommend those. Uh, we use it on an everyday basis, but it will filter the water out. And you want to pre-filter it as well, because this water is coming off the roof. And it's coming down, and of course it's going to sit in the sun. And we'll try to use it and store it in between. But this is a very simple system, guys. It takes you less than an hour to put it together. And if you're hearing a background noise, that is our AC units that are just right around this corner. But it's too hot to turn them off. Now you can use different size barrels. This is a 55 gallon barrel. Uh, sometimes you can raise these up if you want. Uh, the way I set my gutter though, I don't have a lot of room. Plus, right back at the foundation, there is a cement slab. So you wanna make sure this is really stable. Uh, and one of the things I've done is put some stone around here just to keep it very rock solid. But typically I'll put these on cinder blocks, level it out, you can put sand down. But this way, it just sets down using paving stones. It works really well. Now, there are different barrels that you can buy, uh, different sizes. I like the 55 gallon. It gives me a lot of capacity. Uh, and then, of course, this is one that has a removable top. Uh, I have used in the past some with just the bung holes. And honestly, uh, they're very easy to fit PVC fittings. The biggest problem is getting down into the barrel. So here we have just a locking ring. You can actually lock this, open it up, and it expands, and then you can pull this right off. Now we can get inside the barrel and we can clean it. And that's a big part of having this open. And two, when you're installing this, having a way to get down and install your faucet is also important. And guys, make sure even if you have a clean barrel, you want to go ahead and go in and clean it again just to make sure there's no any kind of lubricants or any kind of toxins that are inside the barrel but it's really important to make sure that it is food grade and you're able to put water in it. Now, typically with downspouts, they'll come all the way down to the ground. And again, we had this set a certain way, uh, but you can get adapters to be able to hook this and change this around and get that angle because you want this to go toward the center of the barrel uh, to be able to go into the barrel. Now at the Barrel Superstore, we did get these screens and it has a lip here and you're able to put this down. We're gonna cut a hole into the barrel uh, we also have our faucet system and it comes with an adapter and you put this on the inside and then you're able to attach your faucet. And then we have some tape which you want to use this to wrap around your threads. But again, all this came from the Barrel Superstore. But you can get these on Amazon, there's a lot of different places, but uh, that is one of your resources. Now here are the tools that I'm going to use. Uh, a cordless drill is invaluable for sure. Uh, having a hole saw to be able to drill out for what you're going to use to put in your faucet. So you can just drill that out. Uh, also, I have a measuring tape and I need that to actually set up uh, the way this thing fits. And then I have a 10 snips. This is great to be able to cut the gutter. So if you're going to have to do any modifications to the gutter, get some 10 snips. Much better than a saw. It cuts really clean. And then I just have a razor. Uh, I have used this some when I'm cutting out the larger hole for the screen. And then we have the big saw, and this is going to do it all the way around to cut this out. Now, I have a jigsaw, and somebody's borrowed it, so uh, that would be easier, honestly. But this will do it. Now, this is an extra piece that actually was attached to this. I pulled it loose. But I'm going to have to fit it 
right here to be able to have the right size because I want this as close as possible to the opening and to the screen. This overlaps right here and it fits into it and it comes up to this mark. But you're going to need to check that when you're getting ready to set this up. So you really want to have your barrel set first to make sure that it's stable uh, before you start cutting. The one thing that I forgot to add is a Sharpie. This really helps, even on this black top. I'm going to go ahead and measure this out. It's six and a half inches. I'm going to want to go probably about six and a quarter inches to make sure I just go above that screen. So I'm going six and a quarter inches. So I'm going to go ahead and just mark that. It doesn't have to be precise. Now the 10 snips, the big thing is, is just to get to the point. I'm going to cut at an angle, so I'm going to start. You can see how easy these snips cut. Okay, now I have it cut off. Now move the barrel, this is neck down some, so once you start cutting, you can deform it a little bit, so you wanna make sure that it's straight, and you wanna get it in there, and just fit it. You can put some small set screws in here just to hold this, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Now we're gonna test the barrel. Gives me just a little extra room, and I wanna make sure I center this large enough to put the screen. Now get your screen lined up right under the downspout. Uh, this is going to keep mosquitoes and things like that out, so I highly recommend having some kind of screen. And this is really, really close-knit mesh. So I'm going to take my Sharpie, and I'm just going to go around the outside. Just be careful not to shift it. And here again, even though this is a black Sharpie, you have marked it, and you can see it. Uh, silver Sharpie would be great or another color, but uh, this is what I used on the first one, and it works. Now we're going to remove the lid to cut our hole. Now you can't put this on a sawhorse. I'm going to leave it on the barrel. I've moved it away from the original point. And I'm just going to drill a couple of holes right here to get my saw started. And guys, this is a pretty rough cut saw, and so it's going to cut through that plastic. But when I did it the first time, <laughs> it's a little ugly, but it works. Guys, this hole doesn't have to be perfect because you do have this lip. And once this pops in there, uh, you know, this lip will cover any kind of places you pull out, but just make sure you try to keep it as close as possible. All right, got that cut out. We may have to do some fitting. But actually, this aluminum gives. There we go. It's popped in there. Here on the screen, there's some little nubs. That's going to help to lock that into place. And there we go. Now, a lot of the debris from the inside, you know, you're going to get it inside here. But we're also going to put in the faucet, so we're going to get some debris. You just want to make sure you keep all this cleaned out. Uh, you don't want to leave that in. Now, putting in the faucet, you want to get it really low. Uh, you can't have some space underneath. Uh, but one thing about this is, is you can't put a bucket underneath it. We're going to have to run a hose, and we can do that with this. I mean, this fits a hose really easily. Uh, but one of the things about it, if it's just standing up on cinder blocks, or the more higher it's raised, uh, the more that the water, you can put a container under and get that water that way. Uh, I've done that way in the past, but because it's so close to the gutters, I'm just going to leave it down here. The biggest thing is being able to get it as low as you can. Just give yourself a couple of inches, and then because there is a small little lip right here that kind of comes up, and so I want to get it above that. And then when I clean it, I'm going to dump all that out anyway. And plus, that'll keep some of the sediment down at the bottom instead of here, because that roof is going to put sediment down at the bottom of this. And that's another reason why you need to open top. So here I'm going to set it. <laughs> Guys, that was really easy. Now we're going to check, and of course we want to clean this stuff off right here. This will go right in. Now, when installing the faucet, uh, you want to make sure that this part with the ring goes on the inside. And then we're going to turn this and attach it from the back. So we're going to go ahead and test it, and it'll go through just fine. But this, again, is going to come out this way. Of course, again, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Just trim off the excess plastic.
Now we're going to take our silicone tape. We're going to get it on here, making sure that we don't have any kind of leaks or anything. Now on this particular model, there are arrows that are going to tell us which way to turn. And this is actually left-hand thread. Now you can't take a wrench and just get this really tight. And I would recommend getting it nice and tight. But you want, don't want to get it too tight because you do have that seal at the back. So really hand tight, good and firm, you should be good to go. Okay, we're going to put our Teflon tape on our faucet. Any kind of points that could leak. Now one thing I recommend, especially with this metal going into this PVC, is you want to be really careful to make sure you catch those threads in the right place. You don't want to strip it. But you want to make sure it's good and tight in there. All right, now when we want to turn our water on, we can just open this valve and it opens the water. Of course, we'll want to remove this cap and we could even leave it on there if we wanted to until we're ready, which is not going to hurt. But here we go. We're ready to go. Now because the downspout's kind of close and we want to get it set up, I'm going to have to go ahead and bring this over without locking down my top because I need to turn this. We got my faucet, it's coming out on one side. Now I need to set my lid and make sure that it's compatible with my screen. So without this being locked down, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this because I didn't center it exactly because it really fit better. There we go. So that's directly over the screen. Now I'm gonna take my band and I'm gonna lock this down. Here you can see I've got this centered up. It doesn't have to be exact. There is some screen that comes on around it, so it's just gonna allow that water to pour straight down. Now, one thing that you wanna do also, uh, this will also be a place to relieve pressure. If this thing fills up, water will come off the top. Uh, you can put a small little PVC pipe port on one side at the top, and I typically do that, and I'll probably do that for this. Just seal it up, and that way, if there's any excess water, it's gonna go out that pipe but you want to have some kind of screen set up on that as well so mosquitoes and bugs don't get in that way. So here you can see I've got my blue barrel set up. I've got my spigot where I want it. Of course, I can attach a hose to that without any kind of problem. Uh, and then it's going to be going downhill on top of that. And that's something you need to think about. But the barrel itself has enough pressure to push that water down. Uh, then when it comes to the downspout, you can see it's set up right. It's really close to the house. It's very stable. And guys, that's all you need to do. It is really fast. So guys, again, it's just really simple. It's easy to install. Uh, you can make this a lot more complicated. There's a lot of ways to daisy chain these barrels together. You can raise them up high. There's a lot of things, but this is just to make it really simple. And the more simple it is, the more likely you're going to do it. Uh, you know, if you have a farm or you have a huge garden and you want to have these, I mean, the sky's the limit with setting these up. Uh, but again, it's really simple. Screen, I think, is very important because it's going to keep mosquitoes out. Uh, I would install a small port on the side as a relief to be able for the overflow to go out. Again, screening that as well. Uh, and I'll be doing that. Uh, but then, of course, the faucet's in the right place. It's just really easy to do with a few simple tools. You can set this up. And I believe these barrels right now are running about 80 bucks. Uh, and they have gone up over the past few months. Uh, sometimes you can find barrels that are used. Uh, we have a Tropicana plant really close but it's an enclosed system. So it had the bung holes and we were, you know, adapting it and it worked fine, but it's just a little bit more work. And I think this is easier to clean. And that's one of the biggest things about having that removable top. I can take that top off, clean it out, no problem. And so to me, this is a great way to have water set back. You can use it for a garden uh, while it's summertime, uh, you know, and then again, when it's wintertime, you're probably gonna wanna drain it and make sure that it doesn't just set up, especially in really cold climates. Uh, there are some other systems you can get. You can have a filter in the downspouts themselves to catch a lot of the debris and leaves and things like that. But I think the screen's gonna do a lot of that. So a lot of systems, guys, there's a lot of options, but to me, this is so simple. And it took me about, honestly, about 45 minutes all told. And again, you can go to the barrelsuperstore.com website. Again, I'll have it linked down below. And you can get at least the screen and the faucet. I mean, that's, that's half the battle. The blue barrels, easy to do. Now this was my first barrel setup. I went ahead and practiced on this one before I put it on video, making sure that it works. Uh, this one already has water in it. I've still got the cap. You can see it's pouring water. 
and close it. I mean, that's a beautiful sight right there. Close it up. There was no water here before, so this is really sealed up tight. And this barrel is a little different. It has the ports and the bung holes. I mean, you can take these on and off. You want to make sure these are good and tight if you do get this type barrel. You don't want water that's contaminated getting in there. But guys, again, super easy. Guys, check out Sportsman's Guide for all kind of accessories, shooting, hunting, camping, military surplus from all over the world. Uh, it's one of my go-to sources. And you get $20 off for every $100 or more purchase using SOOCH, S-O-O-T-C-H, in the coupon code. And if you're a member of their Buyers Club, you get free shipping. And that really comes in handy when you're ordering jerry cans. <laughs> so check out Sportsman's Guide. Great resource. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Man, it is hot out here. I am sweating like a pig. Now, let me get that down a little bit lower. Just a little bit larger. Okay, just touch that. Okay, that's all screwed up. Let's start that again.